beans and rice, red beans and rice. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Thaddeus Shade. This is Seasonable Clout. I am back, and I feel good, and I think Fresh has moved the camera again. This is fantastic. I have my boy Freshmaker in here right now, but the person I'm interviewing is my guy, Davion GQ Jones. It's okay, brother. It's okay. You know, uh, Davion GQ Jones, we on part two. Uh, we, we decided that we wanted to come back um, and do a part two because we figured there were a lot of things that, damn, she said Davion is so dark because we're live on IG right now. That is very tough to say to somebody. So can you just tell me what the name is? That's Bree that said that. Bree. That works with us, Bree. Uh, but um, Ooh, yeah, we wanted to do a part boy, two. Hey. There it is. We <laughs> wanted to do a part two. Nah, that's not that. <laughs> We we wanted to do a part two, and uh, I feel like the first time around, uh, we uh, we kind of had you know you got to know him, and uh, that's my guy. I've known him for uh, what we going what ten years, you would say. International was ten years ago. Ten years ago. So would you like 13, 13 14, years? So we yeah. going about thirteen, we fourteen there. years. We got some uh, some miles, and um, I thought Damn. that because you you do carry uh, some weight in the city as far as influence and what you've done um, okay. being a black entrepreneur in the city. I've got multiple in the building. This is fantastic. Uh, but uh, I wanted to go ahead. Yeah, she laughed. Um, I wanted to go ahead and uh, get a part two so we can just kind of talk about some more things, maybe get a little bit more into your life, a little bit more. Um, I don't know how to say it, but uh, maybe some spice, you know, yeah. maybe a little spice. Um, we do know that your uh, birthday is coming up. That's uh, I'm going to mess this up because uh, you and my boy Craig Visions, y'all are real close. You're the 17th, if I'm right. You're 17th. 16th. 16th. Yeah. Visions, you're 18th and 19th, if I'm right. 19th. 19th. What so. was it you just did, sir? Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody's saying there's another echo. I don't have, I don't know. You know, I don't know. You know, it's okay, Fresh. It's all right. Um... So what does that make y'all? What are you? The Pisces? The is that, is that, that what it is? Are you yeah. a sign person? You believe in the signs? No. It says I'm super emotional. Um, the only thing it does say, I think it says the Pisces are like the best in bed and that's about it. Uh, of course you would say that. It, it's the GQ way. It is you the know, GQ it's way. It's the GQ no, way. I, I don't believe in that stuff though, really. Really? Nah, because I don't know anything about anybody yet, except myself. And it just says I'm super emotional. So you never based uh, your relationships, getting in a relationship with anybody off of uh, any of the, the signs? No. Nope. That's a big deal now. You look up, uh, everybody's like, I can't I can't talk to a, a cancer because we're not compatible. You don't you don't get down like that? Nah, nah, never. All right, cool. We know you're a Pisces. Your birthday is uh, a few weeks away. Two weeks away? Two weeks away. Another week? Six days. Eight days. Six, eight days. Eight days. Something like that. Yeah. What do you got planned? I know you wanted to have a rush hour scene too. Uh, I know. Remember rush hour two? No. He wanted to have the scene. If anybody doesn't know, <laughs> rush hour two, there's Carter, <laughs> there's Lee. They're in the massage parlor. Um, and, uh, you know, he has a surprise waiting for uh, Carter. And when they pull back the <laughs> curtain, Carter's so happy because there's a gang of Asian women. And I know you wanted to recreate that scene for your birthday. Is that something that's still going on? We're working on it. We're trying. Yeah? Yeah, we're trying. Yeah? Yeah. Can you, you don't want to tell people what you, you know, oh, I guess we could wait on what we got. We, y'all have to see what he got going on. He got a special, he got a, you got multiple special guests. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah, okay. it should be fun. What do you, I mean, talk to us. What you, what, what are you looking to do? Get everybody drunk on Saturday. Um, Possibly everybody get carried out. Friday, I can't announce. Thursday, we can't announce yet. But Saturday, it's just a lot of bottles. It's bottomless bottles. Bottomless bottles yeah. on we, Saturday. We, I had a 100-bottle theme, like, year after year. Yeah. For some reason, other people wanted to use it. So we're yeah. going gonna to make something new up. Bottomless bottles. Okay. All right. Um, just a tad bit. Do you, is there any birthday gifts you need to get your hands on? You want anybody to bring you anything special? A kid. A kid? Yeah. Are you back at it again? You caught heat for the Scorpio comment, the way you disrespected yeah. uh, Scorpios in the first interview, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. now you back and you saying you... you, you no, nah, you can't give me a kid that fast, but uh, no, I don't think I need anything, bro. We, life is good. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Um, cake. Cake. Yeah, we are with the case. Give me a cake. What type of cake, though? It don't even matter. It's just not chocolate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh is laughing. It makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it worse. It sounds bad. My man. But I don't like that. It sounds bad. 
<laughs> but it's not like that at all. <laughs> Fresh is wild, yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> I know it, we talked about uh, quite a few things in our uh, last episode. Some of the things that you oh, were contacted about was uh this, we talked about the, the Scorpio you was getting hit up about, mm-hmm. right? Uh, how you bash Scorpios. We talked about how you, um, uh, your Asian, your love for Asian women, mm-hmm. you was bashed about. There was something that I wanted to talk to you about more. Um, it's a little bit more, I guess, hmm, it could be a little bit more deep, require a deeper answer from you. Okay. <clears throat> um, in nightlife, there and, and this is off from what we talked about in nightlife. There is a a lot of negativity from other people that are in the business, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what is your response to the the level of? But you, as as the, as the young folks would say, the sneak dissing, mm-hmm. as the sneak dissing would say, what is your response to the level? You see a lot of it. You 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 see a lot of uh, similar uh, promotional things being copied from you know left or right what is your response to some of the more um negative energy that is uh taking shots either at your club 11 11 or at yourself and you know that it's like the little sneak disc that you're talking about what is my response to him yeah what do you feel about it i think it's corny as shit but there is no really response to him um because there is no response it's just corny everybody knows they're doing corny shit they don't have no origin what's the word for what originality yeah. in Arizona. It's just, everyone just copies pretty much what everybody else does. Um, outside of book artists. I wonder why that, I wonder why they don't do that. Um, mm. But you yeah, it, ain't, it ain't nothing really to respond to. It's just the way it is. It's been that way since Corey was first started promoting. It's been the same thing. Yeah. Um, but you know, I still go everywhere. I still have fun. I try not to let it get to me. Right. Uh, it's really not that big a deal for me. Um, keeping friends in this business, is it tough? Very much so. Yeah? Yeah. What are some of the things you've dealt with in the past as far as uh, hiring friends and then working with friends? <laughs> I just thought about it. We're talking about uh, friends. My friend here, man, do you remember I was got into a fight with him? Over a revolver. Fresh? <laughs> revolver in Paris. Wait, Fresh? <laughs> Wait, what happened about it? Yes, man, you got into that revolver. How you get into the? the... Yeah, man. I think Fresh was posted like, uh, what did he say? He was like, "Yeah, club ain't empty over here." (laughs) 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 I just thought about that, man. It was. It was. It was a very long. That's when we first left. Um, was when we first left Revolver, and we came over here. Oh yeah, 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 man. We we had to walk over to Mint one time. Yeah, yeah. You you saved me from. I forgot what the original question was. I just remember having to walk places a couple times just to see what the energy was like. But I was, I was referring. (laughs) (laughs) Um, you saved me from that horrible deal. Um, oh oh, man, right. Uh, Yeah. But the question was 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 about hiring friends in the in, in the industry. You know. Um. Do you, what problems have you had with that? Um, some worked out, some not. What have you, what have you gone through as far as hiring friends to, uh, work under team GQ? Man, uh, lost hiring friends. friends to- I don't think I've actually hired that many people to work under me or with me like that. Uh, when we first started, I mean, I don't think I talked to any of them guys anymore. Outside of one, I just seen him recently, but we don't, we don't talk. I want to say that we have issues or anything like that. We just went different paths in life. Yeah. Um, but people that we've worked with as partners, man, they'll think you done the craziest things on earth and they just, yeah, we ain't, we ain't rocking with you no more. They'll go to another club and you'd be like, oh yeah, we, we, we've been, we've been friends for six years and they go to another club and here comes some shady stuff. You don't talk to people no more. Yeah. That's a normal a normal thing. How does that, how does that made you move? Do you feel like um, you stray away from it? Um, you open for it, you know? Um, no, I treat everybody the same. Uh, for the most part, everybody knows me from Instagram, but actually knowing me and being around me outside of the club, it's the same people. It doesn't really change that much. So the people that actually leave, it might suck, but it's like you never actually were in. So yeah. it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things that I remember really working for us was uh, we had uh, a lot of uh, sub promoters that were females. Mm-hmm. Um, it, how, talk about that experience, man, when we was at international and we had a lot of female sub promoters. How was that for you? How was it was that? actually started off fun. It actually was fun for a long time. 
Um, for me, it was fun for a long time. It was a little challenge actually getting them to work consistently. Yeah. Um, but it's issue. <laughs> we like to talk about how, how. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit definitely oh, yeah that was not the I'm just saying about how, how they changed over the years um, <laughs> he said got up my angles um, but yeah you just see per- personality changes with people uh, especially the women that we've worked with or we've hired on they start a certain way and just change dramatically um do you remember my bad do you remember uh so a lot of people may be from you know different states you know, different countries do you remember how it was uh post i mean pre-covid um sunday fun day i always uh that's one of my you know hated but more loved times do you remember how that was the the the, the alcohol and the cocaine you remember the, the, the <laughs> what the fuck is going on it was a shit show. Sundays is yeah, for sure. For some reason, on the Lord's Day, everybody wants to just wild out. Yeah, it was a wild. Yeah, it was a good time. Everybody used to get drunk. It was very, 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 very wild. What do you think is going on with that life right now? Why do you feel like when? Why do you feel like when you even owning a spot and we be busy, we be packed, right? Mm-hmm. Why do you feel like the energy isn't the same? You don't see a lot of people dancing anymore. It's a, it's a look show. People look at everybody. They stand in there. They People hold don't go out to have fun no more. They go out just to yeah, get on their phones and show that they're in the club or how many bottles they done pop. Um, and the people that do have fun, they get classed as ratchet. Uh, I don't know where that comes from. Dancing turns into ratchet. But yeah, I, I guess people are just want to be uppity now. When do you think that started? You think that was something that was already on its way or it's, uh, it's more uh, of a- I think it's on its way because most of the time now clubs... Even you say pretty please or international, they're more it's just tables, table driven and we really don't have big dance floors. Um, I think eleven and most recent, oh Mint had it. Mint had a a, a dance floor, but for right. the most part, we're we're one of the few clubs still that have a like a solid dance floor. You can get your uh, get your boogie on. Um <clears throat> I felt like when we opened up in COVID. I want you to kind of talk about Monarch and uh, Sinbad, who's an owner down there, mm-hmm. um, who who allowed, you know, and in, in, in Pat, who's uh, one of our more loved people um, in the city that go along with Sinbad. I kind of want to talk about that and that that run we had getting people downtown. Um, what was the, I'm going to go into more, but what is what was the challenge you felt like getting people downtown? What is the view? The crazy thing is when we got people down there, they thought it was a brand new club. And Monarch or PHX, yeah, right. Monarch or PHX have been there for forever. Um, yeah. I think it just made us work harder to actually get people down there. And once they figured out what it was, after that, it became pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, one, we didn't uh, we didn't have no rules downtown when it came to COVID. It was very wild. Yeah, it was. Uh, I wasn't even really a big fear of COVID, but they they was wild out so much. I had my mask going in the club. It was it was a wild, <laughs> it was a wild time down there. Um, but yeah, it was it was pretty easy once the initial people were just figuring out what was going on. Yeah. Uh, because I feel like downtown for so long had like a, I guess a stigma of I don't know people just not want to go down there. It's the same thing with uh with True and then uh being with Pat. I know that your journey from True to Eleven Eleven. You want to talk about that transition between? Because I know Pat was a big you know him owning True and being a big part of what we did. I just wanted to get an opportunity to talk about. That journey, doing doing true, mm-hmm. working with Pat, mm-hmm. and then coming to eleven eleven. Um, there may be some things out there in the atmosphere that you know people may think you cook Pat. You know what I'm saying? People may think that you may have did people down there true wrong. But I like to give the opportunity to kind of set that situation, uh, you know, uh, straight. Shit, shit, Pat, Pat Loki saved us. He did. He saved a lot of us. He did. Uh, he did for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. True opened up and it was a it was a breath of fresh air because we had another place to go work. Mm-hmm. Um I really don't re- know what question you just asked me. You just said what the journey was. The yeah, journey I mean, was how did you you enjoy true? Um, it was fantastic. We we all created something that hasn't been done in I don't know how long it's been since people have been downtown partying, and, and it was something that on Saturday, Saturday's a given day. So Saturday was like, I don't want to say it was easy because we started off shaky. Yeah, right. Uh, but even like the R&B night we did, the R&B night was 
pretty much like Saturday. We knew he was going to walk in and it was going to be busy and people was going to enjoy themselves. Yeah. Um, that had a lot to do with him, had a lot to do with the staff, the promoters. Um, the journey leaving was ugly. It <laughs> 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 was, was an ugly time. Um, How much control did you have over that? Of me leaving or the, the, the just the, the, the I, I guess, because you have the choice to, to stay or go. Um, but you were presented with opportunity. Um, I was presented multiple opportunities. The reason we came to 11, uh, it was new. Um, and it just felt people wanted to still be in Scottsdale. Yeah. Uh, we were, I was doing like sneaky posts from a page. Uh, it was the, it was international coming back. Yeah. And I remember posting like, where do people want to party at most? Or what do you miss most? And I was always oh, Scottsdale over and over and over. Yeah. So you listen to what your, your crowd's telling you. They want to be on Scottsdale. So we made the move. None of it, none of it based anything about, you know, of course, wanting to be a club owner. It was nothing like that. It was just more about that's where the crowd wanted to be. You felt like that's where you wanted to go. Or was there that mixture of like, nah, I get to be a, you know, you know, a club owner too. No, I had a club chance to be a club owner downtown. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> or where where uh we'll just say i had two places where i could have been owner at downtown um yeah i think it would still been the same same type of result i just don't think yeah people wanted to be in scott still i don't yeah. know for some reason <clears throat> what do you think that reason is though nah talk to me what do you think that reason is what do you what is scottsdale and what's up reflection i see you it's my uh, guy so we still live so i could do that on my own shit safer maybe that was safer yeah. May, maybe or you come to Scott's to say you don't like being on 11 you can go to pretty please you go to Casa you go to high well I can't say that uh if you, yeah you go to all these other places um instead of when you go downtown you kind of kind of stuck yeah or you gonna be driving far to come back to Scott's and it's gonna be crazy late yeah. here you can just walk over I think that's probably it okay. I don't know I don't know another reason why people would want to come all the way out here yeah but do you 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 have a higher, I know you have a higher, but you, I just want people to know, cause I, me and you talk all the time, but there, for me, you, I have a high appreciation for Sinbad. And I know you have a high appreciation for Sinbad for allowing mm-hmm. us to come into Monarch. Um, and I, I have a super high appreciation for Pat and love for Pat. And I know we talk about that all the time. And, um, I, I do, I, that, that R&B Thursday we did start it true was, uh, mm-hmm. that was fan. That was fantastic. And it hasn't been done the same. It, <laughs> It's, it's, it's real. It's, yeah, boy, it's the, truth. the nigga telling the truth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? What fresh? What you, what you in there talking about, man? Okay, I'm just making sure. All right, I see your name pop up on this motherfucker. Um, <laughs> I got a I got a uh, an interesting thing in my head where um, there is this this thing, right? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start from <clears throat> celebrities. We're gonna talk about inter- we're gonna talk about athletes, right? After somebody's dying, there's athletes and <laughs> <That's wild. laughs> athletes as far as going downtown. We knew it was a struggle. We 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 tried. They didn't want to come downtown, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm gonna lead into something else, but I'm gonna ask you why is it that athletes don't want to go downtown versus coming to uh, Scottsdale? Because I want I'm, I'm gonna lead into something. I don't know that answer. Um, I have no clue. I I can probably count on one hand how many times we've seen athletes down there. Yeah. Uh I love downtown. As soon as we came here, yeah. It happened pretty much immediately. So I don't know what like the promoters ain't changed. We're still the same. Yeah. DJs is pretty much the same. Ain't ain't nothing changed. Uh yeah. but the location. Yeah. Um that goes into another reason why you feel like you had to come to Scottsdale. Yeah. Because that's now what they want to be. I say all that to say, um, I really think, you know, we <clears throat> on this side of uh, old town, you know, we get them to come through a little, but it's not a lot, you know what I'm saying? Um, but we get them to come through, they come through, they, they have a good time, but the other side, they get them, mm-hmm. they get them a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess there's a horrible way to segue this in, but I'm just going to run with it. 
but uh, I feel like you're about to try to ask me a reason, and I'm not going to give that reason. Oh yeah, you're yeah. not going. Nah, <laughs> false promoter still. Just the promoter. I got you. I'm running it. <laughs> nah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But what do you? I mean, well, I need you. To at already least... on our back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, why is it that you look to the other side and you see them promoting a lot of big hip hop acts, but but your people can't get in there? You know, it's out of old. If you know, if you ever been to Old Town, there's you know, look, look at fresh. fresh look, like, let me see how you answer this shit. Um, why is that though? You know, uh, you look up the the hip hop acts are they're all on that side. You uh-huh. know? They get the and, athlete money. They get that that portion of the hip hop money. Mm, yeah. Okay. But they won't. They won't allow the average uh, uh, black person, the black person, the person that wants to go out and listen to hip hop and enjoy themselves. They won't. Is that interview on me? <laughs> <laughs> But it's the tr- I'm not saying nothing bad. It's the, it's the truth. Is, you know, they- there's a lot of truth that get people in trouble. <laughs> it's a lot. Is that bad? You're just talking the real shit. <laughs> it's the truth. Is, though. It is the okay. truth. Is. Like I said, if I was a promoter, we'd, we'd dive more into that okay. subject. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you're dating five women. Um, I just want to, <laughs> I'm just fucking, <laughs> we have so much fun. What, what, what is, <laughs> that's how you're supposed to do it, young boy. <laughs> I, I love you, bro. You're my, you're my guy. So, 10. 10. I was, I was just messing. Nah. All right. So, okay, cool. Mm hmm. Is that, is the word is bachelor, right? Yeah. Bachelor. Yep. You own a restaurant now. The restaurant is open. It's thriving. Last time we talked, well, season wasn't open. It's going. Mm-hmm. We just last night was serving a collard green <laughs> and fish taco with some sauce on it. Man, it was special. The nigga taco. The nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga taco. It was fantastic. <laughs> Yo, when I, when I first announced it, it was like, that's the blackest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> it was, people loved it, Catfish though. Fish and collard greens people, on the taco. People, 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 people love it, right? Um, <laughs> but you got the restaurant, you got the club functioning. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Boosie this Friday for everybody that's on. We have Boosie this Friday. Um, How wild is your, I know it. How wild is your life right now? And how's it changed from the promoter to owner situation when it comes? And I'm saying strictly to women. I was married as a promoter and I'm single as a owner. How's so it has changed. You see, are women giving you a different attention though? Is the, is the attention that you're getting different? No, no, no. It would be more just uh, the attention is the same. The aggression is a lot more. Um, Explain to me. I'm dumb. Talk to me. It's just like, uh, Instead of, hey, let's go on a date or, hey, let me get your number. It's you want some kids I heard on you on the podcast. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Coochie's here. Like, <laughs> it's it's you. What's, what's crazy is we're laughing about this. My, my guy just came here on Sunday and I was being funny. I just said, hey, uh, since I became an owner, people are just like, oh, you want a baby? I'll give it to you. I randomly said something. Hey, did you watch Bad's podcast? It was like, yeah. Uh, they said something about, oh yeah, you want crazy babies. I said, are you, you can't get a baby because you'll deal with a crazy woman. I said, are you crazy? She said, oh, nope, I'm not crazy. Mm. You know, like they just ready to have some babies. The aggression is high. The aggression? The, the aggression. They, they're uh. aggressive. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I thought you were saying something. Aggressive. I'm, about to get off, I'm about to get off loud. They about to be hurt because they really are going right let now. Let them go. Let them ride. You want to let it ride? Let it ride. Because you ask some wild questions. They, I was, you know, <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Who's crazy is right. The the difference about being married at one point, I had like a responsibility to go to, or uh, I just had rules. Um, or I just be like, ah, I can't do this. I'm gonna get in trouble. Blah blah blah. Now it's just like, can't nobody say shit to me ever. You no, feel, you feel the freedom in it. It's not free. I just don't give a fuck about nobody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're not. You're not. Are you not ready to settle down? You're not ready to. I mean, you got the. You got the businesses. You got the ducats. Um, you know. Well, here we go. There is. We'll see. We'll see. What do you mean? We'll, we'll see. see. You man, about to say no, here no, we go. Listen, what do you there's mean? like one person, one person right now. She's she she, she she's uh she's smart. She doing she doing right. She's what is smart. she doing right right now? What is she doing right? Not being a Get psychopath. Up. Okay. 
That Keep is going. not being a you psychopath. You dealt with a lot of psychopaths now in your bachelor. I've dealt with just weird zone. situations. That's you, it. I'm Tony not even Stark been. life that you live in. You've dealt with a lot of bad situations. Just situations I shouldn't put myself in. Oh, that's the best way to describe it. In many, many ways, just wild. Going from I feel bad for my cousin. <laughs> Real is a, he's a trooper. Well, I know going from because you, you you got married at what age? Oh man. Damn, we're in 2024. Right. And that was 26, 27. 26, 27. Yeah. Um, you're now how old? It's okay. 36. 36, about to be 37, right? Yeah. I mean, do you feel like you... Well, I said that wrong, but same, around that range. So you're about to be 37. Oh, no, no. I've been divorced for a little bit. I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So you're about to be 37. Yeah. Okay. So you... I'm... Uh, I guess I should ask, have you learned... Have you learned a lot? Did you feel like being married um kind of kind of shielded you from? Have you learned a lot as far as being out on the dating scene and 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 in meeting people and how to talk to people and and how women are approaching you and what you like from a woman and then learning those cute those those uh do's and don'ts when you see a woman maybe a little shaky, you know, she may be a little shaky when it comes to her uh, personality or how she handles yes or no's. Have you, uh, you, is there some things you've learned in there? Bro, really, realistically, being married makes you forget how to do a lot of that, just dating stuff. So you just be going off the, actually, I haven't even been doing no dating, really. Um, for the first, I have to say like the first year, uh, I had started talking to somebody, but bro, I don't think I was ready to go on like actual dates and yeah, like really, really like dive into somebody. Um, yeah, it probably just messed up a whole, it probably messed up part of that relationship. I was talking to somebody yeah. just cause I don't think mentally I was prepared to like, all right, let me just forget all the shit I've been dealing with for the last 10 years and jump into this. But are, are, are you rom- a romantic or you want to be in a ship or you like where it's at right now? You like being free. Was, was, what's the journey in that? Um, free is create a lot of chaos. Uh, the relationship shit is cool. I just got to find somebody that's going to, you know, boy, that shit, that shit is hard. You marry somebody, you think you, that's your best friend right. or you know everything and she, you, you get some surprises in your life. So you got to make, you know, the next one, gotta, it's just got to. Well, school, school, you got people watching, you got people listening, school them. What is, what is some things that, you know, you could talk to them about the married life, especially somebody who's, uh, think about it from a standpoint of somebody who's an athlete. Right. You know what? The best part of relationship, the best, not the best part, the best thing that you can do in your relationship is uh, communicate. Once the communication goes, the relationship, in my opinion, goes. It's no longer there. Um, along with trust, but the community, if you can't talk, bruh, so there's certain men that are better than me. I can't do the, if I talk and you just shut down, I'm, that's not in my blood. I can't do it ever again. So communication is yeah. like the number one. For sure. The number Even one communicating number one. if you're upset. If you get upset, then come back and have the, you know, have the discussion later. Right. But getting up i think the worst thing is someone getting upset and then coming back like nothing ever happened and it's just like oh yeah forget you know forget it. let's just sweep it under the rug and let's not figure out what happened yeah. uh because yeah that'll that'll turn into some fun times i mean currently let's say currently let's say um because i won't you know dive into the marriage part of it but currently um the one woman that you referred to you talked about she's not crazy what else is she doing that's uh some positives you know, I always, I always say this. Because I, I, when Just you, being a normal human, bro. Just, yeah, but what is a normal human? Let's go eat, laugh, watch some movies, chill. We can go out. Does she rub your back? Does she rub you? I mean, you yeah. know, does, does yeah, she brush he, your teeth for you? I mean, nah, what is going on? Brush my teeth? Yeah, I mean, that's some that's some coming to America shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't you know, I don't know. <laughs> Did you say us African king, kings know about that? <laughs> All right, I got you. That's the poly man right there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you are out of control, sir. Yeah, yeah, you know, threesome king right here. But go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't care. This is what is I don't care. <laughs> um, but now, like, uh, what, did you, what did you ask? Um, what did what did I ask? Burning my shit down right now. <laughs> you t- <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> You know what's crazy? So another part of the marriage, right? You get somebody like your last name. Yeah. When nobody has your last name no more, you really don't give a shit what anybody says to you. It it really, you've been in relationships, both of y'all. Um, 
but you haven't been in like a, a like your your girl does something, you're just like, bro, look, I'm out. When your woman, does, your your wife does something, she could do something twenty times. You're like, ah, I gotta deal with it. Yeah. Um. So when you're in that, and then you finally let that go. Yeah. Bro, you your feelings for people it goes it's, away. It's different. Yeah, it's different. you don't give a f- yeah. Hey, I'm not talking anymore. So I've 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 had a lot of I've over the time a few mm-hmm. athletes have uh, <laughs> talked about. Um, I had one specifically who was a friend of mine who told me. He told me at one time he was like, "Hey man, you know, get you a safety deposit box and put that phone in there. Put your other phone in there." And he also told me, he said, get all the fucking you can out. Get all the fucking you can. Get as much fucking as you can till you get tired and then and then go for the gusto, right? You know what I'm saying? Then 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 try to settle down. But he said, get that safety deposit box with that other phone in there. <laughs> and he was dead serious too. He had something. Yeah, he was sipping. My deposit was, box just expired yesterday. Did you really? You, you got a safety deposit box? You were with me. Oh, really? Yeah, you was with oh, me when I got it. Shit. Oh, yeah. From uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, gotcha, it's gone gotcha, now. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You a smooth motherfucker. Um, but the athletes, I've had a couple of conversations, man, and they've, they've always marveled or not, I shouldn't say marveled is a strong word, but they always be like, damn boy, this is what y'all do. Y'all around women every weekend, every weekend, every weekend y'all around women. And they'd be, and they would be, they would love it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, bro, I love, I want your bank account. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Fuck this shit. We want to swap. We can swap. I'll take your, you know, I hit somebody on the field or, you know, I'll do a layup and get your account versus this, but they love it. Right. So with being, with me saying that, um, the women that, you know, may, you may want to talk to, or the one you specifically are mentioning, I, you look at on name drop, um, this business puts you around women. Did it on Instagram already. Twenty four seven, right? You did. You, what is this? We do this what uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday. and Tuesday, uh-huh. right? Five days you're around women. How do you manage that trust? How does a woman supposed to trust you? How, how do you handle that? Trust me right now. Yeah. How did it trust you? If she did, you the, don't. The, the, you, <laughs> what is wrong? You what do you mean you don't trust explain, me right explain, now? Explain. Yeah. Nah. Good luck. So you saying the phase that you're in right now is basically just Nah, I'm fucking around. Um gotta be a strong woman. You gotta be a strong woman. What does that you mean? gotta deal you gotta deal with women hugging you every every night. Uh somebody gonna be drunk, try to sell in your lap or shake their booty in your in your face. Uh hug like hug you the wrong way, might leave and try to kiss you on the cheek, just something. You just have to be a strong woman and hope. That your man is going to either check it or run away from it. Well, and there's a lot of running going on. Well, we got a we got Fresh, who's a DJ, who's been DJ. We've known him forever, and he's a host. Fresh, like, is that is that? Do you agree with that? Uh, they got to be strong. Yeah, I, yeah. It, it ain't that big of a deal. Women ain't coming home with you. You know. Yeah. And I got a photographer here who's shot tons and tons and tons of models. Is that something you backing? Visions? Yeah. He did. He did say it like. <laughs> and she's a, yeah. The thing is, do you choose to have a woman in that environment? Hell, no. if you in that environment, you got a choice. Yeah. Of it. yeah. yeah. How was that? Do you do you want a woman that you see in the club co- consistently? Oh shit! This is take. Doom, 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 doom. I don't care. No, I don't care. If you, as long as the girl's not like, you got her shots before me. <laughs> you doing some shit like that, or <laughs> what? What? What about what is the? <laughs> <laughs> what? What about? What about? Oh my god! <laughs> I just got a text message right now. I'm talking about. Lies. <laughs> How do you? Put that? <laughs> what? A, <laughs> that is interesting. Oh shit! Oh my god! That's wild. It's a good time right now. What was the question, bro? There's too much stuff going um, on. Um, yeah, right. It, it 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 messed me up. This is going to be one one of the ones. I don't even like doing. Like I like to just find out about people's <laughs> lives, what they do, have a have a nice jolly time, and yeah. you know, this guy asked for a part two. He got the pistol laying right here. I'm nervous. I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to do. But so, <laughs> what was I saying? Damn, I had a good question for this too. Oh, we were talking about uh, you know, um, woman inside the club, 
right? Okay. Um, you said you don't mind it at all, right? How far, if you're saying you don't mind, as far as bodies on a woman, we, they call them bodies. Am I right? The, the young kids call them. How many bodies you got on you? How many miles? Um, does that bother you at all? You you there for strictly for the person? You strictly wait. Where do you, are you asking me? Like, if the, if the person I'm talking to got a hundred bodies, can I deal with it? Yeah, not a hundred. Not a, well, a hundred is pretty much you. You probably making money from that. But I'm saying like, uh, damn, bro. Oh, you're fucking me up right now. <laughs> you, um, it's all good. So it's all know. good. It's all good. Okay. Just chill. Okay. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> We're getting old now. Yeah, we old as a mother. So I know whoever I talk to, if she's near my age, the bodies are higher. So you, so Jesus' age. Got you. Okay. Got um, you. I can deal with it now. <laughs> when I was younger, man, if you said a certain number, I'd be like, nah, you've been out here getting to work. Uh, I can't do it. Um, uh, we're going to get, okay, we're going to get detailed with it. But I never want to be in a relationship where somebody doesn't know what they're doing. Mm. So... Yeah, that person was with somebody and they was just nasty together over and over and over or she didn't have some practice. Right. I am accepting of the practice now. You're just to a certain of the practice. Just to a certain extent. Okay. Yes. If you, oh, this is perfect. If I'm at the table with my guys, oh, this is great. And you got about four of them that you been with and they my, my people in this little two sections, two sections. You walk up, you didn't hit four, five of them in this two sections. Nah, I ain't, I ain't trying to deal with it. So you telling me, so <laughs> you telling me, so I, I like to take this people. Nigga gave the noise my grandma made. Mm, yeah, mm. Said, mm, mm, mm. yeah. <laughs> I like, I like to um, take people at face. I like to learn my, like learn them myself, uh-huh. you know, how they are, how they are with me. I try my best not to let any background noise uh, bother me unless I get the facts from you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I get facts from you, like you send me, like you at the computer, you see me email, you send me the breakdown of the woman. The you say, yeah, like you send me the breakdown. You say, hey, this is where she been, this is who she with. Because they, you, if you ever want to know a thing, come get on, you, come on, bro, come on, that's helping. It's help. It is help. It so you just gonna tell the help? You gonna tell them the help? Got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let her ride. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Actually, she shouldn't to, but I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead. That's gonna be the. Quote of the day. I don't care. <laughs> well, man, but you, so you, you do feel, um, you, you, you're good with the bodies. You, you just about the person at the end of the day and the, and the, the skills to, to, to please. It sucks. It does. It sucks. Well, we but got to sometimes in just a second. No, no, no. I'm saying like, uh, the bodies, this shit sucks, but you know, you find somebody, if you can deal with it, you can deal with it. Do you care about age? You you want younger? You want your age? You want no no older? no man? I gotta have kids, so it's my age or younger. Okay, got you. Um, actually, Brad, realistically, it'd be younger. I, I just some somebody's working pretty good here. Yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. they doing their thing. I feel you. Um, businesswoman, uh, regular job. Does she got to be on your type of dollars? Or? Nah, 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 nah. She don't got. She don't gotta do shit, really. If I'm not, if she having kids with me, she don't gotta do shit. Take care so of the kids. So you're telling me? Oh God! You're telling me, ladies and gentlemen, you're telling me. Yeah. And the people that watch it and listening, if she's having your kids, yeah, you're taking care of everything. You don't have to do nothing. Nothing. Take care of the house. Yeah, that's it. That's the one right there. That's it. we can. We Wouldn't can. Shut, you, you want me to shut it off listen, now? Listen, listen. You taking care of my like. My kids? Yeah. Sit at home. Don't worry about shit. If you cook and you can cook, if you can cook, shit, you really ain't got to do nothing. So cook and take care of the kids. She just be at the crib watching soap operas. She can uh, live her best life. Maybe she want to do her business at home. Do something. Hey, you ain't got to do nothing. Nothing at all. No. Nope. You don't believe in the and 50- our schedule is, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't believe in the 50 50 or nothing. You just. Kids? Nah. Okay. If you're not having enough kids. Well, I'm not gonna talk to you, so it don't even matter. Got you, got you, yeah. got you, got you. Those those days is over. Um, I'm gonna transfer to a different uh a different a subject because that was a lot, man. Okay. That was a lot. We're gonna see how we're gonna see how that works out. Well, I check you. my phone while we're doing this. No, you good, man. Okay. I told you, I tell people all the time, this is my shit. I do what I want. I've had people come through store through the door and buy food sometimes. And you know, the last podcast was so sweet and clean. It was so nice. You know, I had Carly Sparks on here. She's an esthetician. She was, she was beautiful. 
You know what I'm saying? She, it was a beautiful time. It was peaceful. Vision was here. Things have changed. It has changed, bro. Um, <laughs> something's wrong with you. Uh, business wise, I want to kind of get into detail of opening up a restaurant and staffing and finding the cook and the permits, just so people be watching business wise and they want to do something like this, something similar. Um, are you you was really getting hit up? <laughs> How did what happened? Oh, I love Carly too. It was fantastic. Um, opening up this restaurant, how did that even come about? Well seasoned. Well seasoned is a restaurant, ladies and gentlemen. And hookah too. They just like a hookah. What do you call it? This is a restaurant, hookah, hookah bar. What is it? Lounge? Were you lounge? You, lounge? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How did it come about? <clears throat> um, Detail, please. Don't you doing them, you know, you're doing them Davion. We did a lot of <laughs> we did a lot of food trucks. We did a lot of people cooking like at eleven on the patio. We did a lot of stuff like that where people were making a pretty good amount of money. Um there, there isn't day parties in Scottsdale for hip hop. Yeah. So it kind of. By the way, so I know this is the most people I've had on my live. I know it's not a lot, but it's a lot, and they've been coming through. I ain't, but but continue. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, we just ain't had nothing out in Scottsdale like that. Um, so me, Corey, Boot, actually Chelsea, also, we just wanted to provide something that we don't have. Um, I don't even think a lot of people even possibly know about it yet, just because we haven't done what we're supposed to. We're trying to finish it up all these renovations, but uh, yeah, we come get good food. It's open late. If you live in Scottsdale, you can order off Uber Eats, whatever late. We got a day party. What was the what was the step by step for it though? Like when when you Boot and Corey got together and y'all wanted to do it, what was the first thing you wanted to 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 have done? Rip everything out. Rip, well, okay, <laughs> that was the first thing. Was <laughs> we got to tear everything out because it was. You have, did you have your chef at the time already? Your, yeah, your main. So you already had that book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to talk to talk about the, the uh, chef our situation? chef is Ross, Rasul Raswa Raswa. That's his name. It's, it's King <laughs> King King. Uh, king. Uh, yeah. I like that King. Uh, but he has the uh, the food truck. It's a uh, Good Eats. Um, everybody liked the he food truck. He started out there, right? Yeah, yeah he, he was out, out there. Yeah. And then he did a couple of private events. He did our movie premiere. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. like this food. We got to get back to that, by the way. The movie premiere is I'm real. posting about it. It's a whole bunch of stuff. We we, we, yeah, we getting there. Yeah, yeah, we getting there. Um, yeah. In my opinion, everybody that owns a food truck, their like, goal is to get a, I think it's called a brick and mortar. Yeah. And then just kind of just made sense. We asked him. He was like, oh, it's easy. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, so we got the food, got the menu, and then we just started building. Building things out took longer than we wanted. Oh, then we got the acai spot. Um, my guy, he owns one in like North Phoenix. What, was, was, who's your guy? His name is Devin, Devin Green. I think he goes by Green. Yeah, yeah it's Green now. Um, I walked in his acai place and it, it looks like this. And I was like, hey, man, you should uh come partner up with us in Scottsdale. And then it was a quick, quick yes. Um, but he has like the best acai bowls Very and good. AZ in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, they're, we, they're absolutely amazing. If you like acai bowls, I guarantee you. Oh my God. I just thought about something. Oh yeah. What's up? Yo. So this, this is great. You're talking about the girl you put through college. No. no. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You I know, swear. that is, that'd actually be cool playing. one day to do that. <laughs> um, now, okay. I'm game, but not you talking about like in the, in the, he's the guy. way. That has the juices that you drink. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll, fuck, I don't give a fuck. So, fresh, Greg, bad, both of you. The season's coming, prickly pears. There's some other stuff he puts in there. You drink it, and your cum is going to taste oh. way different. <laughs> Trust your brother. Hey, you think he, I'm he has, he, that's the reason, he sells it there. <laughs> Trust me. He sells it at his other location, and it's like his bestseller. Because the, every the man that drinks it, that woman's like, what the fuck you been doing? Really? We probably got. So you saying I should go get a mount six in them things real quick. They're frozen in my freezer. They're frozen in you. You got yeah. six of them in your crib no, right I got now. one left. You only got one left? Yeah, I got only one left. So you say so yes. the prickly pears. Prickly pears. He'll, you'll know. You'll see these little red juices all over the place. The and red or green juices. I guarantee it. There's <laughs> fellas right now. What's 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 the the name of the spot? They're going to be. They, they oh, gonna, <laughs> They gonna want to know very acai bowl, but it's inside well season. Inside, he gonna get, sell them here too, or just yeah, gonna no, be he, gonna sell, he gonna sell them here too. Oh. Get about mid April, mid April, come in and get your cum clean. No. <laughs> <laughs> you said you watch, said you, you watch said this like, video <laughs> and 
<laughs> in a month, when it come out, <laughs> niggas gonna be like, that nigga wasn't lying. <laughs> He's got the key to clean cum. <laughs> Now I'm ass- I'm assuming you got told about this. Yeah, that's cool. I'm yeah. cool with that. Yeah, you got. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. Yeah. yeah. Should, so, so the fucked up thing is that we're all friends of his, and he's just now laying this on us. <laughs> but yeah, so you you partner up, you got Barry Bear yeah, yeah. uh, in here, and I, like I said, it's really we we bought we all get behind you. It's really good. Um, Carly loved it. Everybody that gets one is uh, is uh, filled with joy and glee and a smile on their face. Uh, it's a it's, it's an amazing and amazing acai bowl. Um, so you're, but yeah, but I, I like to go through the steps. But you good, bro? Mm-hmm. You look panicked, but I like to go through the steps. So you come in, you rip this out. But what is? Can you talk about the the, the ducats behind it and staying oh. on top of the crew and you oh, know how much money God. you put into it? And we're not going to tell you the number we put into it, but it was a lot more than what we wanted. Uh, it took longer than we wanted. Was it, was it more than uh, 11, 11? No. Okay. Not even close. Okay. Um, but it took longer in this small space to build this than it did in 11. Yeah. What um, was, well, I'll keep going. You're going to ask me why. I don't know. Um, nothing was, nothing was working appropriately. Stuff was getting delayed shipping. These booths took forever to make. It was a hassle. It was one of the more frustrating things. And the thing about it, the time is what costs more money because the, the longer we weren't open is the more money we lost. Right. Uh, yeah, it was not a good time. Okay. Yeah. But no, we're here now. And it looks beautiful, man. Is this you? Crazy. This is you? This is your design? Did you do all this? Or did you have somebody come in and sketch oh, no, up? This is all, all me, Corey, Boop, Chels. We all got together. Um, going group chats and stuff, what you'll think about this, just like these red flowers now. Um, yeah it goes in and out yeah it goes in and out sometimes it's crazy man um but yeah man so you uh basically are <laughs> you are an entrepreneur uh-huh. um is, what is your next i was gonna say something wild but le- what is your next business you want to get into man i you know we gotta get these these two all the way right um, next business. Well, exp- okay. Before you get there, what are the two all the way right? What is eleven eleven? I want the restaurant. And where's the restaurant? I want the at? restaurant to just be like its own oil machine, where we ain't in here. I'm not in here. Yeah, every day. Right. Uh, I mean, because I, th- I talked to Wallace. Wallace pulled up last night, and we were doing the uh, Taco Tuesday. And he pulled in. I was like, man, it must be nice just to be able to pull up and come inside. And that's because Wallace and, is at eleven eleven all the time. So yeah. I'm here at the restaurant. He pulled up and got him some tacos. People yeah, he was in here having a good time. Yeah. And the restaurant's dope, man. He Maybe was harassing us games. about the Suns and, and, oh, yeah. and Denver game last night. That's he Wallace. had a good time, man. That's good. Old how does Wallace. that? How does that feel? How does that, to, to, to to be able to just pull up like ah, my shit is open. I'm about to get some food. It's dope because we've actually talked about you just pulling up to do a podcast stuff, renting rooms and mm-hmm. all that. And now you can just pull yeah, up, yeah. so it's, it's actually pretty cool. That's what's up. But what's, yeah, yeah, what's the next? Yeah, right, right. Yes. That's what is that? What, is that what success <laughs> feel like? It is. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's all right. What's the next move? Probably concerts. Yeah, same same type of genre of work, but yeah, probably concerts. Uh, the what only reason we haven't done concerts now is because artists charge more than y'all probably make in a year for one day. Explain. Beautiful. So <laughs> for me to bring someone like Janae Aiko out for a show. Janae Aiko, the beautiful, Aiko, talented. Aiko. Aiko, what is it Aiko or Aiko? Fresh, you're the DJ. You connect with all the DJs in the world. I don't know. He said, you said don't do that. <laughs> uh, Aiko. You put the what twist? The anime twist. Oh, the anime twist. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Okay, go ahead, bro. It's probably like $250,000. Two fifty. People like her, but I don't know. And that's just the artist booking. So then you got costs for everything else. Venues, radio, flyers, all that. I don't know if we make $350,000 back on booking Janaeco. Out here? In Arizona. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Um, what do you think is a what, name an artist you think is a win that ain't you know just heavy heavy a line uh, you know what I'm saying I know you, you Brent Fias Brent Fias yeah and was I, I know you got a ticket number and what's like a ticket number on it 
I actually don't because it changes dramatically quickly. Uh, it was 30 grand before to bring him to the club. Now he won't do the club. Then I heard 100 for a show. And that's the last I've heard. But if it's still 100, that's, that's, we'll see some stuff happen. That's, so. that's doable. That sounds like a win right there. They do yeah, love yeah. Did you listen to the record I was telling you about? His record that's, that's on fire? That's Bryson Tiller. Oh, it is. My bad. I just fucked up. The, the, yeah, it's okay. I could do that. Players do, do that. It. Yeah, players do that. That is Bryson Tiller. That is his it is. You know but yes, I have, I've listened to that song many times. So. Oh, okay. okay. Many, many times. Okay. But that'd be a good concert. Bryson and, and. Oh, no. you. That's that's over the top, man. It'd be that's a good time. It's very much. So we, uh, we've we been chatting for 50 minutes. Um, That's enough for me. I don't want to talk to you anymore. But, uh, oh, I have. Oh, shit. Um, Y'all got. Oh, uh, what did I. Where did I buy that app at? Oh, yeah. this is, this is uh, y'all just gonna have to get off of here real quick. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see if I could do this. Uh, I don't know if it went to, I don't know if it went to that. Um, I'm gonna have to get over here and we're just gonna pull up the app and go from there. Let's do this shit. All right. Damn, we had 312 people on there. Let me pull up this app. This is my shit. I could do it. I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm not going to do nothing. Oh, yeah. Wait, is it not on here? We almost done. Fresh up next. Uh, oh, you know what? Both free throws? Yeah, she's hot. Yeah, I see it. both free throws. We just... Yeah, I'm gonna put it back on. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it back on. Put it back on, man. You know, it was you know 300, 300 people is pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Um, now I'm gonna bring up this game. Will y'all help me though? <clears throat> uh, no thanks. They were playing this last night. No, honestly, it wasn't bad. I didn't lose shit. Really? It worked out in your favor? You know they can hear you still. So. I don't care. Okay. Uh, but I thought the house would get burned down a little bit more than that, Greg. He didn't have no real questions to ask me. Soft. Really? What? That was, uh... Soft. Bro, you know you... We talked about a lot more. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. He could he could have he could have went into it a lot deeper. Bro, he kept you know you you can hear you know we're keeping this, right? You okay. kept telling me, oh, you try to burn my stuff down. It wasn't bad. But I, I came you, out of here unscathed. If you if it wasn't bad, just answer. Answer what? Just fire, answer. Fire away. How many how many three seasons you had this year? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is one. incredible. I think one. You one. sure? You told me about four. He said 2024 just started, so. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not this year. Zero. 2024? Yeah, zero. I ain't done shit. So not, not nah. Last year, yeah, yeah, no, nah, I ain't done shit this year. I'm kind of a good guy right now. Okay. It's All right, so. It's fucked up, actually. We're going to play this game. Let me get everybody back on live. Can you help me with this, uh, Visions? Yeah, what? All right, so can you. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, so. Oh, it's going to start. Huh? He, he he needs to have it. So why'd you give it to him? Well, because I just need to set the live back. Oh. oh. You giving it to me? Oh, now? you want to choose a different, you want to choose a different, uh, a different, uh. I don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to explain it. So, so ladies I'm and gentlemen, we're playing heads up. It's um, really funny. It's all black people. <laughs> okay. You gotta try to figure out where it is. I would never guess this. So, yeah, but it's, 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 you can choose uh, categories and shit. Oh, okay. So I go back past. I, I got it. All right. This is what's cold about my shit. I just don't give a fuck. All right. They're going to be like, boy, they let us hear everything back there. Just all, yeah. Uh, Big ass Becky, who was that? I don't know who that is. It's wild, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to get me, but my baby know I love her. You know what I'm saying? You tried to set me uh, up, boy. Oh, <laughs> 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 the way Greg laughed. I mean, it's all good. Big ass Becky is crazy, bro. Oh my god! Did you choose a? Uh, did you choose a? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Here you go. All right, let's see. Category shape. Um, let me try to get out of here first. Heads up! Oh, my decks. back! Shit! All right, find all decks. It was like a cramp. Yeah, right? It's like a cramp. All right, so you can choose if you like. 
You can choose if you want. And Why is my back doing that for real? Shit. You old, All bro. Right. Did you choose? All right, Fresh, come here, man. Help me out, man. You got three seconds. We playing uh, heads up. Porn so, actors. Uh... Oh wow! This is a, a Dr. Seuss. Uh, it's a Dr. Seuss book. You know, I was watching killing shows when I was a kid. Yeah, uh, and it turned into a, a, a cartoon. Turned into a cartoon, man. Um, it's an elephant. Like, it's, it's, an elephant. it's an elephant. You ever see any of the Dr. Seuss movies? Nah, bro. I'm telling you, my parents were weird. Oh, okay. You can just flip it up, and it'll switch so to do it like that. Yeah. So okay. you pass. Oh shit! What did you choose? What is this? Movies. So, oh. Um. So what do you call a woman? What's another way name for a woman? A female? No. Like, am I being like a piece of shit? No. Regular, no. Regular. no. Uh, she? Another one? Something else. She, female, Another her. Uh, so you have no respect for women. Got you. Bitch. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> what is wrong with you, bro? Huh? You like that over there? Yeah, what's the clap? You got nine right seconds. Oh, right my right. God. Oh, this should be easy. Okay. You know what Seven dwarves. Um, kissed by the prince. Yep. Time's up, man. This Damn, guy's. Bro. No, bro, bro, we're gonna go again. We're gonna do it again. All right, uh, yeah. No, you should just uh, hit the, and then we're gonna run it again. This is ridiculous. So, I'll swipe and play again. All right, play spawn. All right, all right, man. Come on, man. GQ ain't seen nothing in it. There we go. Oh, this is perfect. Star Wars. Star Wars. Luke. Oh no, no, this is movies. Oh damn! Hold on, let me close this. It went away oh, from. Me. Hold, on, hold on, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my oh, bad. It's see on top of your forehead right now. <laughs> hold on, it'll go back. Uh, hit the disconnect on there. My bad, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the disconnect. Oh, I got you. I got you. Go ahead and do something else. Hit the disconnect. Hit disconnect. Yeah, is it? Wait, do you? No. Okay, scroll up. Okay, pick the pick it again. Let's go. Yeah. My bad, y'all. We struggling because I had to my my um. My stream lab still open. It's not gonna work. Oh, All right, cool. Now I'm not, I'm not gonna get this. Let's do this. You got this, man. Not a Have one. fun, man. All right. Oh shit. Uh, okay. It's a song. It's a song? <laughs> yeah. No, that's why I said I'm not gonna get we this. Gonna, this gonna, isn't gonna be good. We gonna we gonna do this. Right. Uh, um, like a virgin. Uh, sugar. Who made like a virgin? Boxer. Sugar. Uh, you, uh, there's a blind singer last name Charles. Ray Charles. Okay, so okay. keep the Ray. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, uh, shit. Not dark, but light. Okay. White. Ray White. What? Ray. So Charles. Had, no, one, where did you say Charles? One word in between them. You got the one first word, word is in between them. Second yes. Word. One word between them. You what? got. You got. Ray. What? Ray something white. <laughs> not dark, but light. Okay. okay. Ray light white. <laughs> no. no, no <laughs> just those two words. Ray light. Those two words with something in the middle. Ray is first. Something in the middle. Ray middle white light. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. oh, wow. I'm not gonna get that. I should have done that one. What was it? Ray of light. Ray of white. Oh no! Nah, oh, you had to do it. Say yeah. how you gonna I, get? I picked the wrong one. Let's do one more. Let's get one more. Hold yeah, on. We're gonna do multiple because I'm gonna right. get some, get some oh, shots. Oh shit! No, nah, we don't need this. Get one. All right, we're gonna. You know? Let's go back to these movies. This is a very not black game sir it is it's fun though all right they was doing it last night it was it was a lot of fun i didn't do it but they probably all sucked okay this is a movie all okay. right it's got julia roberts in it if you hungry what do you do eat okay if you get on your knees you go pray over. uh-huh and if you don't hate asian them, women you, asian women queens you oh no <laughs> you spell, how do you feel about that <laughs> <laughs> i love them <laughs> I love them. So what? You said eat, pray, love. There it is. That's okay. it. You got it. How do you? How do, there, oh, there it is. It got Damn, it. Oh, this is you. This is you. I just talked party. about it. Huh? Your birthday party. I just. Talk- oh, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Not um. What's the one that they go to Vegas? No, no, no. man. I just talked Carter Lee. Carter Lee. Oh, rush hour. There it is. All right. There it is. That's dope. Oh, it is cool. Okay. Oh, Morgan, Morgan yeah. Freeman in we- the cab. Being in- embarrassing. And cab being embarrassing. White lady was in the back seat. Yes, Morgan Doubtfire Freeman. Doubtfire or something? I don't no, know what it is. Morgan Freeman. Oh, Mrs. I Doubtfire. Said Doubtfire. You, I didn't hear Morgan Freeman. I don't know what we talking about right now. This nigga said Morgan Freeman. I'm assuming I couldn't say driving. This is a, let's do one more. We can get out of here. We do one more. We get one, uh, we get out of here. All right, here we go. All right. Oh shit. It's a, it's a, movie. it's an animated movie. Good luck. Oh, uh, Khaleesi. Flying, flying on 
animals. Khaleesi rides them. Dragons. Okay. Um, uh, Larry does this in fitness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay, Jay Stray, what? He... Training dragons. How to train a dragon? There it is. Uh, oh, right. Right. <laughs> oh, right there. Nigga, that's what... Oh, this is perfect. You, oh, you know you got this. You got this. Classic scary movie. Halloween. What was it about a house? In a, in a house, a haunted. Haunted on, the, haunted on something hill. Ryan, Ryan Reynolds made a, a remake of it. Oh, um, it was terrible, too. The, um... Fuck. I forgot what that movie's called. Oh, Shit. man. My ex is furious with me right now. It's based off a true story, too. It, fuck. He has an accident. No, that's that's a... Yeah, you, 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 you own it, too. You was, I forgot you what it's called. Yeah, you fucked it up, man. This dude, it was terrible. Bro. This dude, bro. That's it. We could be I don't even know what it was. What was it? Animeville Horror. Hey, Motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of fun. Fresh. I'm going to have you do it, too. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. All right. I have a bunch of white shit. So you can. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try this <laughs> this so stupid. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, Buzz Lightyear. There it is. Toy Story? Yeah. There All it right. is. Oh, Ooh. oh yeah. yeah. Classic Robin Williams with the animals. But this ain't the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Dr. right, though. No, I said Dr. Doolittle. Um, uh, Jumanji. Okay, now, but it had uh, it had The Rock. It had uh, Kevin Hart. Um, Jumanji. But yeah, there's a full it's, thing it's to it. Full, uh, if somebody come in your house, you are inviting them in. Or uh, the mat that's on the ground. What does it say? Doormat. What does it say? Welcome, Shh. welcome, welcome, Jumanji. Welcome to Jumanji. One more. You got welcome it. Welcome to the Jumanji. No. Welcome. Another J name. Where do, where do animals be in? Where do they be? Welcome in? Welcome to the jungle, Jumanji. There it is. Bow. Wow. There it is. Woo! What? Oh yeah. Oh, this this Rabbit cool. Nazis. There it is. That's it. Oh, Quentin Tarantino. Quentin I know what it is too. Um, I ain't gonna get it. Come on, bro. You supposed to be a movie dude, you bro. I ain't gonna get it. <laughs> oh man, I'm not gonna get it. What In, was it? Inglorious Bastards. Glorious Bastards. Fuck. Yeah, that was good. Man. All, right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Thaddeus Shade. This is Seasonable Clout. I'm up here with my boy Craig Visions, DJ Freshmaker. Stop by. I'll be interviewing him next, and we'll be talking about how to hide your food stamps from the next woman. And then my boy. Davion GQ Jones. <laughs> you still be still listening to Fruit Snacks? <laughs> he said, why, why not? not? I got you. Um, uh, this is my boy Davion GQ Jones. Uh, you know, Jones, you got to tell them where they can find you. Uh, what's, it, what's it called? TikTok. I got a TikTok. Man. Oh, yeah. TikTok, yeah, TikTok. Facebook. Everything's Davion GQ Jones everywhere. Uh, does Well Season have a TikTok yet? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. All right. Well, season. Every, everything is Davion GQ yeah. Jones. Okay, All nice. Right. Um, anything else you want to say before we get off here? Nope, we're good. All right. All I right. am Thaddeus Shade. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Thaddeus Shade. You can find me on Instagram at Thaddeus.Shade. You can also find me on TikTok at Thaddeus Shade. I know I say it all the time. And you can also find me on Facebook, but I am never on there. I have been on a Starbucks strike when it comes to tea because these motherfuckers ain't got no honey. And I know about a month ago I was complaining about these some bitches not having no honey. These some bitches still ain't got no honey. I said it again. These some bitches still ain't got no honey. They ain't got no honey, man. I go there, they ain't never got no honey. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make my own medicine balls at the house because I don't really drink tea, but I would tear a medicine ball up. I said, I'll make my own tea at the house. So then I go, right? And I'm like, okay, what is a medicine ball, right? I go look and it's uh what is that shit? It's like a it's Tiavana, Tivana, Tiavana, I don't know, Tijuana, I know that's where you get marijuana.